A little while ago, I made a video testing this glass bottle cutting gadget, which I used to cut in half a number of bottles. Once the edge has been sanded down smooth, they can be used for all sorts of things. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool wine bottle wine glass. When you've got to the end of a bottle, wash it out and keep the cork for later. I used the bottle cutting gadget to score a line right at the base of the bottle and one near the top, which is going to be the drinking glass. As I explained in my previous video, you need to use hot and cold water to help split the bottle. And even then, it doesn't always go right. This bottle just broke. So I tried it again on another bottle, and this time I had a little more success. Even the base of the bottle came off okay. I used sandpaper to smooth the cut edges to make them nice and safe. For the glass to be waterproof and to join on the base, I took the cork from earlier, and even though this bottle was a screw top, I pushed the cork right down into the neck. And the idea is we're going to fix the base of the bottle here to make our wine glass. To fix it, I'm using this special glass drill bit to drill a hole right through the middle, so I can put a screw through and fix it into the cork. I placed the base onto a board and taped it down to hold it still. And I started drilling the hole. Just before it went through, sadly it cracked the glass. I tried again, and exactly the same thing happened. It cracked the glass, then split in two. So rather than drilling a hole, I decided I'm going to fix it in place with super glue. The bulge in the base stops it from sitting flush on the wine bottle if the cork is dead level. So I pushed the cork in a little deeper, so it sits properly. I can now add glue all the way around the glass rim and to the cork to make a nice strong bond with the base. Leave it to dry, and there we have our really cool DIY wine bottle wine glass. Pretty cool, huh? Of course, you can make them all different sizes. And if you struggle pushing the cork all the way into the neck, just go as far as you can and cut it off with a knife. I used a wooden spoon handle to push it a bit deeper so the base sits on properly. Once you've stuck them together, you've got a whole host of drinking glasses. Do make sure they're all sanded down properly so they're smooth with no cracks. A couple of mine here are only examples. They do look great though. The cork keeps the wine in well. And they're definitely a good talking point. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.